The Society for Ocean Sciences is a non-profit organisation co-founded by Claire Hudson and Dr Drew Ferrier. The Society is dedicated to promoting preservation and an appreciation of marine environments through education, research and conservation. Most people uh, in the United States and actually worldwide live within 50 to 100 miles of the coast. Over half the population of the world lives in coastal situations. And those coastlines and the ocean in general are feeling the effects of all of that human activity on the coastline. The primary mission of the society is to inform the public of the delicate relationship between humans and the world's oceans. Over 41% of the world's oceans, and of course the oceans make up well over 70% of the, of the Earth's surface, are impacted by human activities. 40%, and yet only 5% has ever been explored. We're uh, decimating uh, areas that we have not actually looked at yet, and that's, that's a scary thought. We're losing things for future generations. The Society aims to instill a deeper understanding of the current issues affecting our oceans and marine resources and spark the interest of students in science, ocean science in particular. A student's learning increases 50% if you actually take them out and show them things that are working in the environment rather than just showing them problems from a textbook. How, how do you transmit passion when you're teaching? It's very difficult to spark an enthusiasm in a student in a classroom situation when you're only showing them video clips or or a, a slideshow of images and not taking them into the environment and showing them those exciting things. We're hoping to start uh, more regionally in the Chesapeake Bay region and in the mid-Atlantic but we have expertise in uh, in leading groups through the uh, South Florida and the Caribbean and our next step will be to expand there and and in the long term, perhaps even expand uh, uh, more worldwide. One thing we've, we've seen is that even if students don't become scientists from these experiences, they maintain a passion for the environment. We have taken English majors on these sorts of experiences and they've ended up uh, being environmental journalists. We have taken political science students, they've, end up, uh, they've ended up going into environmental law. Uh, there's many avenues toward helping the environment and many of them start with education. Uh, there's a lot of work to be done and, and uh, this is the time to do it.